But Wayne, you ready for the, uh... Wayne, we're gonna die, well... I'm gonna die. As I... Half my life is flashing before my eyes. Whoa, 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 wait. Half your life? Yeah, I haven't done the other half yet, Wayne. Oh, I forgot, that's right, you're going to yeah. die at exactly 36. Yes, I'm on the 27th of the 1st. Oh, you are halfway through your life. I am halfway through my life. This is a small dinosaur, it's just it was close to the camera, so it looked oh. much bigger to you. So, but, yeah, but I, I, I'm in front of the camera, so why, why did I see it so large? Well, you saw it in the future in, on YouTube, you saw right. how, how big it was. So the future me saw it, so I saw it. So the half-life that you said you saw, which was yeah. flashing in front of your eyes, must have been your future half-life. I don't know how you did that, but that's incredible. I had blue hair. Did you? Yeah. Were we, were we still friends? I don't know, just blue hair was, just took up the whole thing. You know what I'm going to say? What? I'm going to say get a haircut in a few years when you dye your hair blue. Uh, and then it'll take up less time. Yeah. Or oh, less screen, at least. At least less screen. Yeah, it went a bit, like, sort of, coffee, I don't know. So, half-lives. Half-lives. They're fun. Yeah. They relate quite closely to our, um, rate of conflict. Rate of change of concentration of reactants. They use stuff. the con the, re the con against time graphs. Yeah, and particular, we it would react to the for reactants. It would it would do a half life thing. Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> it's called exponential decay. So it decays exponentially. Yes, they name things well. They do indeed. Some of them are exponential decay. They're not all. Exponential. Then yeah, yeah. Um, if it was zero order, for example, it would not be. We'll get into that in a second. So if we say this is order one, because this is, this is what an order one, look, one looks like, the half-life, if we say this is one mole per decimeter cubed when it intersected this axis, mm -hmm. which we did just there, we want to find the time it takes to, far, to half its concentration. So at this point where it's half mm -hmm. will be a time, say 20 seconds. The good thing with order one mm -hmm. is when you double the time to 40 seconds, it will have halved again. Its half-life will be constant. Sweet. And that will continue going with this order one concentration time graph. And then if we have our aura order zero... Yeah. Which I'll draw over here. Oh, okay. It's a linear one. It is a linear one, so this one isn't actually an exponential decay. Looks a bit like that. It does, it does look a bit like that. So we'll have a concentration and a time. Yeah. So it starts at 1, when it's at 0 0.5, somewhere around here, so... It will be at a time. Let's say that's 20 again, I'm just making But as up. the um, time increase, the concentration, each time it halves, the actual half-life decreases. So next time it won't be 40, it will be somewhere between 20 and 40. Say 30 to make it simple. It probably won't be as simple as that. It depends on the gradient. But yeah. It's going to be somewhere between, as Trip said. And then finally, if we have our second order, with a pen that fell on the ground. It looks a bit like this, but much steeper, much more like y equals 1 over x, if you're familiar with that graph. If you are, if you're not, you can Google it. Um, so it's going to decrease to half very, very rapidly. Like, extremely rapidly. Probably yeah. like five seconds if it's relative to these. Yeah. And then it's spreading out more over time, so for it to decrease more, because it's curving that way, more time is taken per unit downward. So as, yeah, as it, as it was more half-lives, the distance between them will increase. Yep. So if you're saying that's two seconds... Then anyway, it gets 0.25, it might be eight seconds. Yeah, these are all made up, it, probably, it might not be that simple. It no. might not just be it cubed. But if it is, it would probably continue being it cubed for this particular graph, if it was. But yes, these are half-lives, and they're the sort of thing that comes up quite a lot. You have to sort of just basically know what they are, and be able to do the rate equation you did with the last bit, the last video, with these. But as we uh, done that, if you just watch that. Yeah, just remember half-life has to do with concentration with time, so it's about the time it takes to do Yeah, the time life. is the important thing. What can it be used for? It can be used for carbon dating, the, uh, if you know how long it takes for a half-life, and how many half-lives have gone down from, say, carbon... Core carbon 14, which is a nice type of carbon that happens a lot. You can um, work out how old something is. Yep. So it's how we how we know how old the mummies of the pyramids are. When those people died, they stopped taking in new carbon 14, so then it began to decay, no more was taken in. Mm -hmm. We can see how long it's been there. Yeah. Some places that have had radioactive areas that you can't live in, you can find out how long how long it will be until it's safe to live there. Yeah, I'm, like I'm working at um, how it's changed over certain times and knowing what order it is. 
So now we're going to go back to our rate equations in the next few videos. Yeah, there's been lots and lots of rate. We've ended up pretty quickly then. Yep. Yeah. Alright. See you there. I've got half my life left.